Yeah, we talk about Patrick Mahomes being Mr. January. You look at the records that Kelsey is setting. He passes Gronk for most receiving yards by a tight end in postseason history. Andy Reid kind of joked a few weeks ago. He says, I feel like every, every after every game up here every week, I'm talking about another record that Travis is setting here. But it's true, though. You, yep. look, at, you look at catches, yards now, and uh, what was the third one? Where it's like Jerry Rice is one, Travis is two. Jerry Rice is one, Travis is two. Jerry Rice is one. And receiving yards, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Travis is two. At a non quarterback position, one of the top two, three all time playoff performers yeah. in NFL yeah. history, man. Bo, yeah. watching Travis, what did you think about his game? Anything that stood out to you? Old, reliable, man. Like that yeah. dude, it still baffles me. The teams let him get open. And I feel like I'm complaining at this point, but I'm not. It's just like I'm just in sheer amazement that, that it, he just. He gets so incredibly open on on such such crucial plays, third and long, fourth and three, right? Like, how do you not have two guys on that guy? I'll take it all day if they want to let that happen. But um, his ability, man, to just feel the flow of the game and and immediately cut back against that flow to just just get five to ten more yards on every play is what stood out to me. His his sense and feel for just where people are at on the field is unmatched compared to anybody else in that position or like most receiver groups, right? Most receive most catches that receivers make that he makes, they'll get taken down right away. He has the ability to stop, pivot, burn two guys, get another six yards in running, and then another five, six yards while two guys are trying to tackle him, man. So I, I saw that in this game. Um, just, just old reliable TMFK. I, yeah. That's what about you, Nick? What did you see out of that guy? Just the grit to to come and play that game he the one of the national treasures this year has been the kelsey brothers podcast if you haven't watched the one from today as soon as this is over you should go give it a view right he i kind of felt like uh he's just on the injury report you know he probably tweaked his back a little bit he's like no i was a true game time decision i woke up and i really even could still couldn't quite stand up and they alluded that maybe you know he got he got a shot to, to help him be able to play. But I mean, you get him back spasms and you can't even hardly stand up and you're like, just, just give me a shot in the back so I can get out there with my guys. And then I'm going to go play, you know, this physical game and, and get, what would he have six or seven catches for 80 something yards? I, just, just the grit and determination of him to, to not give up on his team and to help them, you know, help them win the game. He got one of the, t- you know, without his touchdown, on fourth down there. I mean, we turn the ball over, who knows what happens. So,